I want to say good evening to uh, everyone, those who are listening in tonight uh, at our Bible, Bible study here at uh, Mount Island Missionary Baptist Church, uh, Millport, Alabama. Uh, thank each and every one of you uh, that are tuning in, uh, those who may be uh, tuning in later. Uh, as I know some are, are busy and have things to do, but uh, we thank you uh, for being a part of this Bible study. My name is James Porter. I'm one of the associate uh, ministers at Mount Olive, Pastor Reverend Benny Henry, and I have been doing um, the Bible study uh, lesson uh, for uh, this month. And uh, we... We have been in a good lesson, and uh, God has brought us uh, this far, safely this far, and thank him for his grace, thank him for his mercy to allow us to be uh, a part of another day. And uh, I realize that things seem to be uh, upside down at times, but God is able uh, God is still in charge of our lives. And uh, we just thank you for being with us tonight. And as, as always, uh, prayer is in order. And I want to start us out with a word of prayer. Our gracious Father, we thank you for another opportunity of life. Father, we thank you for uh, bringing us this far. We thank you for your many blessings. We we thank you for things uh just being as well as they are, Father, we know that it could have been worse. But you allowed us to be here tonight, Father. And I'm praying for those who are sick, uh, those who are shut in, Father. We're praying for those who uh, are bereaved today, Father. We uh, we know that there are a lot of sickness and there's a lot of death, but you are God. And we're, we're praying, Father, uh, that you move on your throne. We see results down here on earth. And, Father, I ask that you bless every individual that is Listen tonight, uh, uh, whatever issues they may have, Father, we're praying for them tonight. And Father, praying for our children that they will be safe uh, in their homes, Father, or if they're, those are ones who are traveling to schools. Uh, realize there are some schools who are opening and closing and uh, because of the pandemic, but we're praying for them, Father, for them all. And we ask that you bless us as we teach, uh, learn your word tonight. And grow as as people, and we'll be careful. Give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Um. Again, we're starting tonight uh, in our Bible study. We we've, we've been doing um, from the beginning. Uh, we have talked about uh, Jesus' mission. And uh, again, we're in session two, uh, and we uh, in the the main topic of that is Christ came with a mission, and it says Jesus came to serve God and set us free, and we talked about um, from the beginning those who. I may have not been with us. We talked about uh, Jesus' mission that he had, uh, that he was uh, that he was about his mission, and as he said, I, I must be about my father's business, and that he he was one who showed uh, in his actions that he was about completing his mission. He, he, he even. The things that he said that you would know that he was about uh, completing his mission and that he had one and that he was going to uh, complete it uh, no matter what. And we talked about how uh, we have a mission and how we have to continue on. And and we talked about uh, um, how. We should serve others as, as uh, uh, Jesus did, and 
and that um, our mission should in line with what Jesus has done. And, and we talk, talked of that, and we even talked about how Jesus uh, would be in company with sinners, and he was criticized for that. And so, uh, and how we should, um, you know, not disclude anybody, that we should include everybody uh, in our mission. And that's, that's what Jesus did. And so, um, we are, are starting out tonight again, speaking on Jesus mission and that we have a mission as well. And, uh, and it says that Christ calls us to serve others. He calls us to serve others. And we know that he came, uh, to serve that he emptied himself uh that he went from if you think about it the highest of the highs and sort of to the lowest of the lows because he came uh to serve and so it says Christ calls us to serve others and that and that is is an issue for some people because listen you you can't be a servant and and be selfish at night and day. You you can't uh be selfish and, and be a servant. Um you have to be selfless in order to serve, just like what Jesus was. And that's a problem with uh with some people because you you're gonna have to uh give up some things that there, there, there are some things that you're going to have to be, uh, I guess you would have to put to the side in order to serve. Uh, uh, everything can't be the way you want it in order to serve God. But as the songwriter said, uh, serving the Lord would pay off after a while. And it's not as we know as believers, uh, you know, it's, it'll pay off after a while, not something that can be bought with money, uh, that it'll pay off after a while. So Christ calls us to serve others and that we are to serve others and we are to, uh, put self aside in order to serve others. And it says, given these truths. It's logical to ask, what is our mission? What is it where we're supposed to aim for or accomplish when we become disciples of Christ? And like I said earlier, the first Wednesday, a mission, there's always an objective uh, to a mission. There's something that uh, there's accomplishment uh, that, that needs to be attained and when doing a mission. And it says, interestingly, Jesus provided some clear answers to the questions when he first announced his ministry and mission in a public way. Uh, and this is Luke 4, 16 and 21. It said, he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up as usual. And this is not King James because as this says as usual. King James would say, and as he accustomed was, but it says, and he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up as usual. He entered the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up to read. The scroll of the prophet Isaiah was given to him and unrolling the scrolls, he found the place where it was written. The spirit of the Lord is on me because he anointed me to preach good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom to the captives and the recovery of sight to the blind, to set free the oppressed, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. He then rolled up the scroll, gave it back to the attendant and sat down and the eyes of everyone in the synagogue was fixed on him. He began by saying to them, today as you listen, this scripture has been 
fulfill. And Jesus alone could fulfill the, the spiritual implications of Luke 14, uh, Luke 4, uh, chapter 4, verse 16 and 21. Through his death and resurrection, he proclaimed good news to those in spiritual poverty, uh, freedom for those held captive to sin, life to those oppressed by the law, and sight to those, to those blind to their own needs of salvation. So he had he fulfilled this in Luke 4 and 16 and 21. And when we ended last Wednesday, we talked about how Jesus can set us free from uh, whatever it is, anxiety, our, our, our uh, restlessness, or, or, or worrying, whatever it is, he can set us free from that today. Um, and when I look at Luke 4 and 16 and 21, verse 21, I see the fulfillment, uh, but I also see responsibility that had to be in there. Any Anytime something is fulfilled, there had to be some responsibilities that was a part of it. So, uh, as disciples of Christ, we have responsibilities um, also. There's responsibilities that we have as disciples of Christ. Well, one responsibility is the fact to serve is a responsibility. Uh, Christians should serve God and serve others. Um, Jesus said in John 13 chapter that we are servants and not kings. Uh, Jesus summarizes his ministry in Matthew 20 and 28. He said, even as the son of man, came not to be ministered unto, but to minister and to give his life as a ransom for many. So our responsibility is to serve. And we talked about last time on um, how we're not on a clock as serving God. That It's not a nine to five job that we clock out at a certain time and that we're not uh, only a servant of God on certain days, that we're supposed to be a servant of God 24-7, um, that is not something that we are on first shift or second shift or third shift, that we are uh, servants of God 24-7. And, and Jesus came to serve, not to be served, and we are called to imitate our Lord. And see, we might think that the world would be a better place if people did what we told them to do. Uh, you know, they, if they just did what we said and 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 thus said the Lord, and we tell them we, we think it may be a better place if they, but we know people are, are not just going to do what we uh, tell them to do or what we've been instructed to tell because uh, some people are going to do what they want to do uh, especially if they don't know Jesus and even the ones that do you can there's a lot of people we would love to change uh, we would love to change some of the things they do and 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 uh, want them to to do this or do that and uh, something better uh, but God does the change and we just have to uh, give the word and uh, we know that his word uh, will not come back void. But we are called to tell people uh, what thus says the Lord, uh, but we are to serve them. Um, Jesus tells us we should not strive in Luke 20. 2 and 26 to strive to be the greatest of the servants. I mean, we, I, I know some may want to keep track of, of merits and, 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 and want to be in the spotlight. Uh, they want to illuminate themselves 
as being the best, but we're not called uh, to be the greatest of the servants. We're, we're called to be faithful. Uh, uh, some want the spotlight, let them have it. Uh, just be faithful, and God knows about that. And there there's a lot who, I heard one, he said that, well, if God gave him, if he desired a jet, then then he should he should have one. Well, God didn't just only call him to preach. God called many others to preach the word. He there's a lot of us who can who can uh, who can tell others about Jesus Christ as a disciple of Christ as we become come in the fold. We accept Jesus. We learn of him. And then once we learn, we're able to go out and tell people about Jesus. And so we know that some uh, may want to be, but it's not about being the greatest of the servants, uh, but it's about being faithful. And a lot of times, people that are faithful, if, you, if you're in it to be spotlighted, uh, then you, you, you're you not thinking right, you, your heart is not right, and then uh, you 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 will certainly be disappointed because um, you can serve, and and a lot of times you you may not be your names are up in lights and things like that. But that's not what it's about. It's about being uh, faithful. Uh, it's about being faithful to God. Uh, he knows who you are. He knows. Uh, what you're doing and we are to devote ourselves to serving others and we do that out of love for them in order to lead them to christ see people will they'll gravitate to love if if you show love people will gravitate to that uh i, I hadn't seen anybody gravitate to someone who treats them bad uh, who don't show love uh if if you show love people will gravitate to it uh and if you demonstrate uh, that love like jesus showed and that selflessness uh people will gravitate to that they'll come to that you you, you you'll do better than that than trying to grab somebody by the hand and forcing them if you if you just show them you show them love and 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 I promise you, they'll they'll remember uh, what you've done for them, and that'll make a bigger impact than a lot of things that you do, even what you say, um, because of if you show uh, love. And see, we have that responsibility of serving. That's the responsibility we have, and we also have responsibility to love, and that's and we serve through love of loving others uh, as we love God. Uh, Matthew 22 and 37 said, Jesus said unto him, in which this is King James, thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with thy, uh, all thy soul and with all thy mind. Uh, see, we have to remember that everything we do must be motivated by our love for God. Uh, it it has to be motivated by our love for God. That because uh, He loved us, First uh, uh, John and four nineteen, we love Him because He first loved us. He's our Creator, our Ruler, our Sustainer, our Provider, and we should show love to others as God uh, showed love to us. Uh, true faith is shown uh, in our love for God. Uh, if we love God, then it will be shown. And so we know then that we l must love others despite how they act, despite how they may feel about us. And that's a 
difficult t uh, thing because you got some people who uh, will really try try you in the way that they act, the way they act towards you. Some may not, uh, they may despise you, uh, even just for how you look and may not even know you and still have a problem with you just because of who you are. And some people will not like you because you are a child of God. Uh, you know, we don't have it as, as they do in some countries and there are some countries and I've done, I've studied on this, you know, there are some countries where people are, uh, are being killed or, or beaten, uh, for being a child of God. And so there are going to be some who do not love us. Uh, and we'll let you know that they don't love us, but yet as a child of God, as a servant of Jesus Christ, then we are to love them anyway, in spite of how they, uh, treat you. And, um, I've always been told, you know, someone, uh, treat you bad, act like it. It doesn't bother you and you, you treat them the way you're supposed to. And then uh, after a while, they'll see, you know, that they can't really get under your skin. And they want to know how can this person still uh, treat me nice and yet I don't treat them the same way. And what we need to do is continue to pray for them. And. Matthew 22 and 39 says this, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. So if we are disciples of Christ, then we need to follow his word. So it says, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. And this is something I've, I've dealt with since this pandemic. I mean, I thought about it. Whereas when we go out to different places and... Uh, you know, there may be signs for, uh, uh, companies may have business may have a sign for wearing masks. And, you know, you have those who, who said, well, uh, you know, they're not going to wear a mask, but yet they say they are a child of God. And that even comes from, comes from, uh, the government that comes from, even from the white house where, they said they're not going to wear a mask. Well, if you're a child of God and you believe God's word and and my, my my rebuttal, my dispute then is the scripture says thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Uh, meaning you should care about your brothers and sisters. You should care about others. Uh if you say that you are a child of God. Uh, 1 John 4 and 20 said, If a man say, I love God and hated his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother, whom he had seen, how can he love God whom he had not seen? And that's 1 John 4 and 20. So our responsibility, of course, is to serve as disciples, of Jesus Christ as believers, um, which in turn we have the responsibility to love and we know that we should love God. Uh, and we should also have the responsibility to give. Uh, an important aspect of giving involves money and position. Uh, see, really, we're not owners of what we have because God owns everything. But we're, in a sense, just managers. Uh, the money and the possession we have are gifts, are God's gifts to us. And he is the owner. We're not the owner. And 
all we have here we can't take with us um it 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 once we are uh, uh leave this place it's going to have to stay here so we are managers so to speak and god is the owner and while it's important to work hard we must remember that all uh comes from god's grace uh i mean we can we can have everything today and and tomorrow have nothing uh or we can be without and and then god bless us uh with some things that uh that we have and so all we have god has given to us uh i mean we wouldn't have it uh if it if it wasn't for him and so we are are to have the responsibility um to give you know some people they just want to hold on to everything they have and they don't ever want to help somebody else uh i mean it, their their fist is hand is always closed and not looking to help somebody else and they're actually missing out on a blessing and uh and i'm not saying there are some that out there that and you know i'm i'm big on this any of you know me they teach prosperity uh and we know that the poor will be with us always but uh but there are some who who do it that way but if you give from your heart uh god will bless you I, I I know a lot of us can attest to some things we've done and we've gotten blessings and it, it just come up and we, we did we didn't know it. And um and so we are to give is one of our uh responsibilities because we don't own anything. God owns everything and we are uh a manager so to speak. And and if you you think about it a manager is employed to manage particular things on the behalf of an owner is what a manager does and, and, and managers are entrusted with responsibilities and the manager works for the owner and is held accountable to the owner the things we have god owns it all and we are held accountable to manage it and so we have the responsibility uh also uh to give so on tonight we 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 looked at how where christ calls us to serve and this is all dealing with uh jesus mission and we know we are to to be a part of that mission and on tonight we we learned that uh we have that responsibility to serve as, as we talked about uh last wednesday uh that we don't clock out it's, it's not a nine to five job uh that we are to serve all the time and so we 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 learned tonight that there's a responsibility to serve and that the responsibility to love others uh and there's a responsibility uh to give and so on the night i just want to leave you with this is that god jesus came and he came to set us free he he came to save that which was lost and that there was no other way to do it uh there's no other avenue uh no one else could do it but jesus and i want to uh encourage you tonight um continue to serve god even in this pandemic um it's easy to get complacent uh we're not meeting um a lot of us you know churches we're uh, we're just we're streaming 
uh, and we're not meeting to be one-on-one, -on -one, but um, you still are, are servants of God, and we still should carry his message. We still should be about our father's business, even though uh, we're sort of, in a, in a sense, separated, but yet we still are together because if we are uh, children of, of God, then we're in the same family. And so we still have a mighty work to do. Uh, uh, Satan may be trying to come in between it, and and uh, but we know God is able, and he only allows things that he allows, and that Satan has to get permission in order to do anything uh, to any of us. So I just want to encourage you tonight, um, we still are servants of God, and let's continue to serve. Let's continue to uh, study God's word and uh, be responsible uh, in our service, uh, be responsible in our giving, be responsible in our love to others, and uh, be responsible uh, in giving God the praise. It's not about you and I, uh, but it's about him. And as I... Uh, leave you tonight um i want to close in a word of prayer our gracious father we thank you for uh the things you blessed us with uh master we we know that uh it is not of ours father but but it's yours father and you allowed us to have it father and we're praying for those who are doing without tonight we know there's some that uh may not have shelters father there's some that may not have food on their tables and Father, we're praying for them tonight. And Master, we're praying for those who, uh, again, those who are in the hospitals and those who are sick. Uh, we're praying for those who are bereaving, those who may be shut in. Father, we're praying for uh, minds to be regulated tonight. We're praying for depression, Father. We, we're praying for uh, uh, those in the schools, Father, we, that uh, are seeing an outbreak, Father. We're we're praying for them all, Father. We ask that you uh, just be with us, Father, as we go through this trying time, Father. Just be with us. Uh, help us along the way. Give us strength to continue uh, to do your mission. And we'll be careful to give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Now, I want to tell everyone uh, good night and see you next Wednesday if it's in God's will.